You'll often hear drag racers talk about tyre shape and what is tyre shape, how does it work, what is it? The tyre is kind of running over itself basically, so when you're going down in the car and it starts shaking, it's like the tyres have turned square and in a way they almost have. So you imagine taking your road car, putting square tyres on it and driving down the road, da -da 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 -da. but do that when you're accelerating to 200 kilometres an hour in two seconds. You know, you, you feel it. It's, um, I don't know, it, it's strap yourself onto a jackhammer with the compressor wound up as far as it can go and hit the trigger and watch everything just shake and vibrate in front of you. That's what it's like. You can't, you can't really describe it. A lot of people say it's like being in a cement mixer. I haven't been in a cement mixer, so I don't really know what that's like, but it wouldn't be pretty. You won't eliminate it because the track changes a lot to like from hour to hour, but you can minimise it to enough where it's drivable. But uh, um, tyre shake, I can't live with it, but I don't reckon drag racing could live without it either. I think it's something that drag racing, it has, you know, it stays in drag racing. It... The closest thing I can think of explaining it on how it feels as a driver, go down to Bunnings, put your head in one of the paint shakers, turn it on to fast, and that's about what it's like, but times it by four. No, it's definitely not fun. Hate it. Hate it with a passion. <laughs>